Madam Speaker, if you could allow me a few minutes, um, just quickly to point out um, on this supplementary bill, it's the $1.5 million that was approved for the stevedores. We know for some, for, for some years now, the Port of Belize, which has been in an unusually prolonged receivership, has been at odds with the stevedores and the Christian Workers Union, uh, their worker unions, the, 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 the union's representatives. This standoff was recently exacerbated by the decision of ASR BSI to relocate the staging point for the export of sugar from the Port of Belize's facilities to the Big Creek Port. The Ministry of Labor and the Ministry of Public Utilities and Logistics, responsible for ports, have been involved in this dispute resolution process and therefore I would refrain from staking out any position regarding the specific conduct of the port and the stevedores on the very issues of contention on actions taken or not taken. Regrettably, quite apart from the impact on the port and the stevedores that these disputes cause, the wider implications of shutdowns and work stoppages at the port are all too obvious. Commerce is held ransom. Paralysis in the import and export process, even for a few hours, can cause substantial commercial losses across the economy drive up the price of goods and create scarcity of essential imports. The Supplementary Appropriations Bill, which I know table for consideration, is for the ex gratia payment of $1.5 million as agreed between the Port Authority of Belize, the Ministry of Public Utilities and Logistics, and the Christians Workers Union on behalf of the stevedores in a memorandum of understanding signed on February 3rd, 20. 22.